What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the video guys. So I want to show you guys what I just recently bought. Um, this is going to be the last mod for the whole rotate, rotating assembly for the block. So I'm going to show you guys a close up what I got and let's start. Right, so what I have here is two old pumps. This is probably, I don't know if I said it earlier, but this is going to be the last mod that I'm going to do on the A3. Um, so what I have here is two old pumps. One came out of the A3 and one I bought from um, the Type S. So it came in the K20 A2 and a K20Z1. Now the reason why I decided to change my whole pump, you can tell by the size here, big difference. I don't know if the camera is focusing properly, hopefully, but um, as you can tell it's so fat, it's so big that it's weighing down my cardboard setup. So my apologies. So I'm sure a lot of you guys already know a lot about this information, so if this is probably redundant information, my apologies. But um, I decided I wanted to share this. So a lot of you guys have 4 cylinder engines, so whether it's a 4G63 out of the Mitsubishi, um, as you see here, I have the K20, um, H22, H23, F20 out of the SIRT um, Accord. Um, what else? If you have a um, QR25, I think that's Nissan. I don't know if the SR20 had balance shafts. Um, if you have a MZR, EcoBoost, 2.0, 2.3, Mazda Speed 6, Mazda Speed 3. Focus ST, Mazda Miata MX-5, the, uh, the, I think the second to last gen had um, the DZ motor. Um, I could go on and on. Um, <laughs> you probably had balance shafts in it, especially when the displacement is bigger. They just shove balance shaft into some of these motors. Now, not all four cylinder motors has balance shaft um, inside of them. So it's just for a com comfortability reason. You know, if it's not a sporty car. Uh, if you want something that luxurious, you know, obviously they're going to put that just to reduce as much as they can. Um, but is it really necessary? I'll leave that up to you. Personally, I don't think it's really necessary, especially if it's an uh, engine you want to rev the hell out of and you want to get as much oil flowing through and not have that much restriction. So as you can see here, like I said, it is so much smaller. This is Type S again. This is A3. It is so much smaller. You got all these um, shafts going on here. And I, I, would, I was reading up, and it makes sense why they say this thing is spinning so faster than the Type S oil pump. Because it has this, different, this secondary shaft here, which is not spinning by anything. It's spinning by this gear um, that is spinning off of the, 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 the crank shaft. So this one is spinning as fast, I'm sure really faster than opposed to, you know, you let a type S setup here. So, I mean, the stock oil pump, which is something that we're trying to um, reduce when we're doing these mods, is cavitation. So when the pump is spinning so fast, it's bringing air, you know, when, I don't want to get too technical and all that to, to bore you guys, but it's to, your pump is going to be sucking up air in, inside of the rotors and you know it's going to be spinning so fast that you're not really um, sucking up oil. That's that's just just a layman's term. So if we had to, if we we substituted with this one, which could spin a little bit more faster, say like 8,500 RPM, or if you want to stretch it 9,000, this would be a more safer bet than this shit here, in my opinion. So that's why I went with the type of oil pump. You can point it out. A lot of guys, um, a lot of companies have that you can mod the S2000 oil pump or just pour this one out, however you may choose. Um, but I'm not going to really get too crazy with that. Uh, I've done some tampering with it, but I, like I said, I don't want to get too crazy with it. So, that's the reason why I upgraded my oil pump. Um, a lot of other K20s have, have this setup. So, strange enough, the K20Z3 out of the Civic Aside 8 Gen has this. I don't know if it's ported a bit differently, but um, all the K24s has this. Strange enough, all the European Type R's, so the UR, the CL7, the FN2, K20Z4, the EP3 Type R has bounce shaft, which is kind of weird. So like I said, it's like a personal preference shit going on. Um, so <laughs> it, it all boils down to if you really need it, you know what I'm saying? Especially even with the setup with how far the, the rotor is from receiving the oil as opposed to the one out of the Type S how close it is to the pickup tube you know so it's just kind of it's just weird you know I'm not really much of an engineer so I want to study a lot more in this 
So I just decided I'll show you guys what's up. You know, a lot of engine structures don't have to worry about this. So if you're an inline six, a lot of guys like to say the two JZ is probably the world's best made engine. So you know, because they don't really they don't suffer from vibration. So if you have a one JZ or a two JZ or a seven MGTE out of the um, the the generation before the the popular Supra. Um, if you have a M54, N54 of the, the BMW, or even 5.9 of the the, Com, the Cummins, you diesel guys out there, you know they, uh, they don't have any balance shafts. So I guess that's a plus when it comes to going inline six and V6 and V8 and V12 and the others. Now, when it comes to oil pump and oil starvation and all that, there's so much you can do, in my opinion, with a, uh, a wet sump setup. Anything crazier, you probably want to go dry sump, which majority of the supercars out there are, you know, rocking. So I have a Lamborghini, you know, McLaren, whatever. Most of these cars are um, dry sump. So there's not really an oil pump, an oil pan on the, the uh, crankshaft and the rotating assembly. So anything crazier you want for the engine, you probably need to go oil, uh, dry pump, uh, a dry sump. Um, I think HBD has a dry sump setup. I think Wirewire has it on his um, his K24 Integra that he had at SEMA. So that, that's cool. Uh, I don't think I need to go too crazy and that's expensive. But yeah, I just decided let me show you guys what's going on. So if you guys d d decide, I'm sure you guys hear a lot of cars. It's all about Type S oil pump mod and all that. But that's the reason. It's just to help them to rev higher, free a lot of weight and all this crazy setup going on here so they can rev the engine smoother take off all that weight free some oil and just rev happily that's if you have supporting mods you know you don't want to forget your rod bolts you don't want to forget your heads you don't want to have any valve float so but this is a, a big upgrade in my opinion so hopefully we can free up some horsepower by doing this mod and um, this is going to be the last uh, mod when it comes to the engine um, so we're going to go from here we're going to set this up and uh, I'm not really going to go into details. I'm thinking these videos are kind of a bit too boring, to be honest with you. Too much information, so I'm going to cut out. On, um, I'm just going to just run through the whole assembly of the motor. So I'm not going to really show all I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to show a video. I think it's really boring. I sometimes I sit and watch my own videos and like, ah, this is probably too much overwhelming information. It doesn't get as much views as says I probably do something outside on the Integra. And it's not really much about views, but I really want to keep you guys well entertained. A lot of this informative shit, a lot of guys already know how to do things like these, how to tear a motor apart, how to put a motor back together. So it's not really as entertaining as installing new wheels or canyards on my car or, you know, suspension mods. So I really want to get all this shit out of the way and just focus more on the Integra. I have a lot to do on the Integra. Uh, we want to take the dash out, we want to do a semi tuck, you know, so that would probably be more entertaining and more viewer engaging than things like these. So, don't want to make this video too long, and probably already is. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to put this video out. Hope you guys are having a great week, and peace out.